Hi friends and siblings, my name's Jamie. I literally don't know how to do this, so I'm just gonna wing this video. I have never done a reading vlog before. I don't know what this is gonna be like, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. Today is Bloom's Day, and for those of you who don't know, that's the day on which the entirety of the novel Ulysses by James Joyce takes place. There are a lot of festivals and celebrations all around the world honoring the book Ulysses and what Joyce did with his work. There are some people who dress up like some of the characters, there are some people who act out some of the scenes. And in Dublin, the city in which Ulysses takes place, I'm sure the celebration is massive. If you're involved with literature and books, at least in some capacity, I'm sure you've definitely at least heard of Ulysses. Maybe you've heard it described as hard or boring or difficult to understand. And so far, at least where I am in the book, it definitely can be, but it doesn't have to be. I'm not gonna sit here and encourage you to read this massive, confusing, multi-language book because the style can be jarring, some of the themes are bizarre, and the way it's written is definitely strange. But I do wanna read it because I'm a sucker for style. I probably wouldn't be reading this if it wasn't for Gravity's Rainbow, which I hear is kind of like a postmodern response to Ulysses. And I absolutely adore that that book. I've been reading the shit out of this for who knows how long, and I decided that if Ulysses is in any way similar to Gravity's Rainbow, I would love it. My relationship with Joyce is kind of strange. I used to be really into Joyce for a while. I read Dubliners, and I tried to read Finnegan's Wake as well, which was a massive mistake. I do not speak 20 languages, so I cannot understand the book. Seriously look up the text in Finnegan's Wake by James Joyce. It is bizarre. And so I was kind of scared to start Ulysses. But it's not that bad. It's pretty readable for what it's worth. The storyline I'm not crazy about. I find it a little uninteresting, but the style is literally to die for. I'm on page 269 right now. So that's in the middle of the Sirens episode. All the chapters in this mimic the chapters in the Odyssey, by the way. And apparently the words in this episode are supposed to mimic a sonata form. Yeah, like a fucking song. In a previous episode, Aeolus, the entire episode is stylized as if it's a series of newspaper headlines and newspaper articles. Later on, the longest episode, Circe, is written as if it's a play, and the final episode, Penelope, is an 80 page long stream of consciousness with no punctuation. I asked for style and I got it. I should probably tell you what the book is about. The book follows one man named Leopold Bloom around Dublin. He has an unfaithful wife who is going to sleep with another person in Dublin at four o'clock. Bloom wanders around Dublin one day and the entire book chronicles things that happen in Dublin. It's called Ulysses partially because it's an homage to the Odyssey, but also because, so I hear, Joyce wanted to pay respect to the everyman. And I don't really exactly know what happens because I'm only about 270 pages into it, but so far, it's him walking around. I think I am gonna finish it, because I think it would be a big accomplishment to say I've read Ulysses. And also, I really wanna read Finnegan's Wake, because that thing is pure fucking style. While I'm in quarantine, I'm gonna continue to read this book, and maybe I'll continue to post reading vlogs, updating you with my progress. I know some of you people on booktube are like, I read Infinite Jest in three days, but I'm a very slow reader and maybe I can blame the fact that I started reading theory and I tried to read for detail, but I don't know that I'm gonna finish Ulysses this month. I feel like at my rate that I'm going, I probably will finish Ulysses in July, but honestly, I'm not gonna hold my breath because to me, rushing with books really takes the fun out of it. I'll finish it when I finish it. And then maybe I'll try to read Finnegan's Wake or maybe I won't. So thank you for watching. Maybe you care, and I'm interested to know what you think. Have you read Ulysses? Are you nervous about reading Ulysses? Have you read any other Joyce? I know a lot of my friends really enjoy A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man. Hi, Shannon. Let me know in the comments. I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.